Welcome to Calavella South Farm. What's going on guys? Welcome back. So, it's snowing again. Not going to get much this storm, only about an inch or two, but uh, good news, tractor's back. So uh, we're going to be able to start getting some stuff done with the tractor again. Got it back uh, last night, got the uh, rear remotes all set, and uh, they actually put in the horn and the block heater for me as well. So uh, we're in good shape there. Um, can tell the block heater is uh, doing its doing its job this morning. You can see the hood's already uh, already melted off, so it should make for a nice easy start when we go to start it and move it here in a little bit. But I think because of the weather today, we're gonna uh, we're gonna get to a shop project. I think. Well, I haven't quite decided, but this is what I'm thinking. I'll show you what we got going on first. So we. We have our old uh, Polaris Sportsman four-wheeler taken apart right now. I just rebuilt the carburetor yesterday and I have a new fuel pump for it and it needs a valve adjustment. So that's one shop project that we're working on. Another one is I want to make a good holder for my battery tools. I had one at the uh, at our old house in my shop. And you know, you've seen a lot of these designs where you basically use some PVC and it sits on a shelf and all that. So. I have an idea for one that I'm going to make out of some roughs on, so I think uh, maybe I'll do that today and I'll show you guys how I build it. So anyway guys, I think that's going to be our plan. Okay guys, so uh, we're definitely going to do that uh, battery tool project that I was talking about. So uh, I'm actually headed down to uh, our one of our local stores, or Runnings, to get a piece of pipe. The uh, pipe that I had in the barn was a little too small. So we're going to head down. Uh, grab a piece of pipe and uh, get the project started. All right, guys, so uh, we went down, ooh, a little light there. We went down, we picked up a piece of pipe, and I tried to film cutting the pieces, but for some reason the camera didn't get it. So anyway, I'm making, basically it's gonna be a five tool holder. So there'll be five pieces of PVC put in here. We're gonna cut them up into pieces, and then we're gonna notch out so that the tools slide in. So basically, just some rough sawn scrap pine that I had kicking around here on the farm. I cut a 22 inch piece, uh, a 20 inch piece, and then basically I used what little bit was left to cut two uh, triangles. Basically, and the triangles are gonna sit like this. So that'll all sit, and then on the inside we'll have, basically, uh, we'll have the pieces of pipe. So uh, I'm gonna head over to the other barn where I got the uh, Miter box saw set up and now we're gonna cut some pieces of PVC. All right guys, so uh, We're gonna cut five pieces at eight and a half inches long with their trusty old miter box saw All right guys, so uh, Here we have all of our pieces Basically, we're going to be centering these. These are three and a half, and we made it so there's going to be a slight gap in between each piece of pipe here. So now I've marked, basically, if you can see it, I've marked where I want to do my notch, and I'm going to notch it about three quarters of the way back and then leave a small section back here that's full of pipe. And then we'll probably pre-drill the holes to screw into here. The rest of this, I'm just going to uh, basically glue it and screw it all together with uh, some uh, regular old screws. This this is nothing real fancy. This is just kind of a rough thing that we have. Uh, that's why we use rough saw. Um, so uh, yeah, we'll give this a shot and uh, should be big enough too that we can mount all of our chargers on the top.
Oh, that's not good. Our little knot split on us. Oh no. Well, we're gonna have to make up a new piece for that side. All right, well, we'll make up a new piece for this side, guys. I had a bad feeling with those knots, that could happen. All right, guys, so we made up a new piece for the one that just broke. This one now has no knots, so we should be good. So we'll finish putting it together. All right guys, so uh, we got all of our pipes all cut and I have them marked. So that's gonna basically be on center and uh, now we're just gonna drill a hole and uh, put a screw through and that's pretty much gonna wrap this project up. guys so I think that's wraps it up came out pretty good that'll hang up on the wall all the uh, drills and stuff will go underneath and uh, be able to put the chargers on top I'll get it mounted up here and uh, show you guys all right guys so uh, here it is all installed I think it looks pretty good we got one slot left later on if we add uh, another tool that unfortunately the uh, the half inch drive impact, battery impact doesn't fit in there, but that's pretty big. So I, I didn't think it would. I'd need a lot bigger pipe for that. But uh, yeah, I think it came out pretty good. Happy with it, for sure. So anyway, guys, I think that's gonna, whoop. Anyway, guys, I think that's pretty much gonna wrap this video up. Um, like I like to say, if you like these videos, please subscribe, hit the like button, and leave us a comment. Tell us what you think. And just remember, It'll be all right.